Welcome to the Fat Emperor podcast. I'm your host, Ivor Cummins. We're supported by the Irish Heart Disease Awareness Charity, which advocates a simple CT scan to reveal your CAC score. So know your score and take action to prevent that premature heart attack. Everything you need to know will be right here. Hello and welcome to the Fat Emperor podcast. This is one of many podcast shorts I'll be doing. Five, six, seven minutes going through the latest science, debunking, clarifying and simplifying some of the science around nutrition and health so that you guys can benefit. So today I'm going to go through a paper from a couple of years ago that got a lot of discussion and it's about calcium scanning and the paper to many showed that calcium scanning was superb for identifying your risk of a future heart attack. But other people went out there on the web and talked about it not being so amazing. So I thought I'd go through it today. So here's the paper and it's public access. And it looked at the MISA study of calcification in individuals and how good the calcification scan result was in predicting future heart attacks over and above the risk calculators that are more commonly used. So what this paper did basically was pitted the risk calculators. There's one of them shown here and the algorithms they use to predict heart disease risk or future heart attacks versus the calcium scan so they scanned all of the 5,000 people as well and got their calcium scored uh, scores and then they followed them for 10 years so let's see what happened so I'm just going to summarize here there were 213 heart events that were successfully predicted out of this group over the many years and we'll see what happened so the people where the equation the uh, algorithm said that they were high risk but the calcification scan seem to think there were maybe lower risk there were actually 19 events that occurred okay the risk calculator did better here than the cac scan but for the people where the risk calculator said they were low risk or medium but the calcium scan said oh no they're high risk well there were 76 heart attacks predicted so obviously cac won out big here and where both the risk calculator and the calcium scan both indicated high risk, unsurprisingly, there were quite a few, 118 heart attacks. So, putting it in a pie chart, nearly half of the actual heart attacks foreseeable that occurred were only predicted by the calcium scan. So if you think there's millions of heart attacks that cause tragedy all over the world every day, and nearly half of the predictable ones are ones that you could react and take action to prevent, nearly half of those are only really seen by the calcium scan result. That's pretty huge. So that's one of the big outcomes from this study. So we look now briefly at some of the baseline data and we look at the people who scored low in the risk calculator versus high in the risk calculator. And we look at some of their risk factors and see how they contributed to the high risk score and the prediction of the future heart attack. So first of all, we've got the CAC and needless to say, of course, the low risk people had zero generally and the high risk people were up at a 90 median or kind of average. So calcium obviously excellent there. Then we look at age and surprisingly to some age is one of the biggest risk factors for cardiac events because as you get older you're much more likely to have one relatively. So age showed up here massively as being lower in the low risk people and much higher in the high risk people. Blood pressure is a good measurement, it's a good risk factor and here it showed up as being 121 in the low risk people from the equation unsurprisingly that's good blood pressure and not too many were on meds we can see from the high risk people much higher blood pressure and nearly 60 percent of those guys were on meds so it would have even been much higher so blood pressure is a very worrying thing to see and it occupies a very high place in the risk calculators for that reason now what about the ldl most people know about ldl and heart disease but surprisingly or not it's not actually in the risk calculators. They don't really use it. But you would think for sure that the people who came out high risk and much more likely to have a heart attack would at least have a higher LDL. Well, let's look and see. 
And as you can see, actually, no, the LDL was not different. So you've got to be very careful with LDL because it's a very weak risk predictor and it's very contextual. It depends utterly on the context of the other risk factors and other physiological things that are going on in your body. So on its own, it's, it's nearly useless to predict risk. So top prize to CAC, unsurprisingly. Uh, honorary prize to pretty good risk factors like age and blood pressure. And sadly, uh, the dunce's hat for LDL in this case. Though the advanced lipoproteins and advanced cholesterol measurements are more predictive and more useful. So briefly, we look at another study uh, related to the MISA population. And here we'll see that if we take, for instance, a 60 year old white male with a good blood pressure and good cholesterol ratios, well, that person is a 5% in the risk calculators. But if you look over on the right, you'll see that if you get the person calcium scanned, you find out the real risk of that person. So depending on whether they have a low score or zero, they have a 1% risk then of a future heart attack, or if they have a very high score, they have a 13% risk of a future heart attack. So obviously the calcium scan blows away the risk calculator calculator uh, for this person and for everyone else. Here's a 60 or 55 year old Hispanic man and he's 10% in the risk calculator based on his higher blood pressure and some other considerations. But if you scan this person, a low score zero means they're 3% risk, not 10%. And a high score means 28% risk in the next 10 years of a heart attack. So clearly the calcium scan result is needed to really find out what's going on with a person's current level of disease and future risk. And the last person is a 75 year old white male, good blood pressure, pretty good shape there, good cholesterol ratios, and they're a 10% risk, mainly because of the age of the person. But on the right, we see with a calcium score result, they could be found to be anything from 2% up to 16% risk. And that's a huge difference. So you really need the calcium scan to find out what's really going to happen with a much greater degree of clarity. Top prize again to CAC, no surprise there. One last thing uh, on the calcium scan that's useful to know. We see here in another study age ranges of in your 50s up to in your 70s into your 80s. And as you can see there, no matter what age range you are, even though age is obviously a huge risk factor for a heart attack. If you calcium scan all these people, you'll find that a 80 year old man or woman indeed with a low or zero score has the same low risk of a heart event in the next 10 years as someone in their 50s. Right. So you can see the blue lines there. No matter what age you are, a zero score means very low risk. And likewise, no matter what age you are, it's the calcium scan high result that predicts your 10 year risk. So age actually becomes not so relevant once you've got your scan result. So I always say, show me the data. And in this case, a calcification scan is the data you need if you're middle age, middle risk, and you want to actually find out what's going on. I'm just going to show the Framingham score now on the bottom for these age groups. And as you can see, the risk calculator in Framingham increases greatly as you get older on average. So you'll have a lot of older people with a high paper risk from the Framingham risk score. But if you scan them, you'll actually find out if they're high risk or not and if they really do me need medications or not. So this is another important aspect of the calcium scan. It's primarily to find out if you've got a big problem and to take action, stop the disease progression, stop the score progressing and save your own life. That's the main reason. But it can also be used to verify that you have very little disease. And even though the paper calculator says you may need meds, you can make that decision with your pro medical professional and make a very informed decision with a scan result. So five minute scan, maybe a hundred dollars. Well worth it. And that's about it. That's kind of an overview of this study and a couple of other interesting studies in calcification. You can see on the left there of the screen that we've got our book, myself and Dr. Gerber out, Eat Rich, Live Long on Amazon. Hopefully you'll subscribe at top middle there to YouTube. And on the right, you can click there and watch a $2 million feature film that 
tells the dramatic story of calcium scanning, the best technology in the world currently, cheap, fast, to see the level of disease you have inside and to properly assess your future risk or what action you need to take. So thanks a lot, guys. See you next one.